Three, two, one. All right, with the newest uh, member of the Philadelphia Wings, Joe Reseteris. Joe, welcome, first of all. And uh, I, I know it's probably been a bit of a whirlwind summer for you. Uh, give us a little bit of an update, I guess, on how the summer's gone for you and, and what, what brought you to Philadelphia. It's been very overwhelming, but, you know, but a good overwhelming. Um, you know, obviously a lot of changing going on, you know, from a future of playing. But, you know, I'm thrilled to be here in Philadelphia. You know, this is a place I wanted to be. You know, to be here for, you know, the next three years, um, you know, playing for Pauly and a lot of guys on this team I'm very familiar with and good friends with. So, I, I, you know, I couldn't be more thrilled. What, what excites you the most about the opportunity to, to play here? This is such a cool city to be in and, um, you know, just in the direction the team's going in. With the East being so tough, you know, adding the big pieces to compete and, you know, get better. You know, that, that's what drew me in. And, um, to, you know, my goal is, you know, and everyone else is, you know, to win a championship and bring one here to Philly. And, you know, I think this is the team to do it. Last year, your, your best season to date, 111 points, 47 goals. So what, what clicked for you last year? What was going well uh, as far as the season went? I took a different route last year than I usually did. Obviously, you know, was in the gym a lot before that. But, you know, I got a personal trainer. Um, I did a lot of stuff that, you know, being a little bit older and not playing for two years, I did a lot of stuff that I felt like I ne that needed to be done. And, uh, you know, it went a long way. And, um, you know, I know that coming into this season, I'm going to have to do probably a little bit more. Last year, obviously, was a good season personally, but, you know, not what I want, you know. I wanted, what I want is a championship. And, you know, this is why, you know, I think the best place to, you know, the best chance to win this year is Philly winning one. And this is where I wanted to be. You know, this is a special group of guys. And, like I said, the direction we're going in is something I want to be a part of. You mentioned the two-year break, obviously COVID shutting things down, and I'm sure going into last year it was a little apprehensive. Does, do things feel more normal now, I guess, both for you and maybe across the board league-wide? Do you think guys are feeling a little more normal going into this season? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, two years off, you know, some guys, you know, were playing in field lacrosse, but, you know, this is a, it was a completely different game, you know, what we play here in the winter. I'm sure everyone had that same feeling going into camp, like, man, I hope I didn't you know, lose a step, you know, like, I don't wonder how many games it's going to take me to start feeling comfortable again. And, you know, it took me a while, honestly, you know, it, I, I knew it, I was there, but to get back into a rhythm of, you know, being able to like stay consistent, it took a while. It took about two or three games for me to start, you know, clicking and getting back into the groove I used to have. I guess uh, in, in terms of now moving forward, uh, have, you, have you talked with Paul at all about where you fit into the offense? Any ideas, uh, thoughts on where you fit into uh, an offense that last year just had a little bit of trouble with consistency, didn't score as many goals as I'm sure they would have liked? I, I'm sure you see yourself uh, as, as an opportunity to help that out. Yeah, that's you know, a big thing. Is he, there's a lot of great pieces up on the offense. And uh, it's just, like you said, it, Sometimes they go and sometimes they don't. You know, I think it's, you know, there's times last year when, when I watched and the offense looked great. So it's it just all about staying with a consistent flow. And, um, you know, adding, you know, myself and also adding a guy like Chad Tutton on defense, you know, you just got better on both sides of the ball. And um, Buffalo and Toronto set the standards of what it takes to be at the top of the East. And, you know, what we added this offseason, you know, shows that we can be right there or even better. So you've definitely got some familiarity with Paul Day. I guess sum, sum up for us uh, how long you've known him, and uh, you know I know you play with him uh, outside of this league. Yeah, you know I, I met Paulie, you know when I got traded to Rochester, and uh, you know to be honest with you, if that trade didn't happen and he didn't coach me, I don't even know if I'd be here. Honestly, um, what he did for me as a player, um, and also as a person, you know just having confidence in myself. Um, you know I kind of had a little bit rough go in Buffalo and. My head was kind of in a buff, bad spot at that point. And, uh, you know, how he kind of just eased me, you know, kind of just said, hey, this is a new start. We know what you can do. Just go out and do it. You don't have to worry about second guessing yourself. You don't have to worry about us getting mad. Just go and play your game. Hearing that and just over the years playing for him, you know, it's just a calming presence. What he's built, you know, team after team and, and championships and just how he is as a person, you know, as everyone wants to be, you know, something with Pauly Day. And, you know, I'm sure anyone who gets a chance to go play from, they're going to do it. And, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm thrilled to be here and, you know, I'm getting, I'm glad I'm getting the opportunity to play for him again. I was reading up a little bit and I didn't realize this, but um, 
first U.S. born player to have a 100 point season in this league from what I understand. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, you know, it's cool. Uh, you know, it's, you, it's, it was kind of hard to believe when you look at some of the guys like Casey Powell that, you know, you figure would have done that by now. But, um, yeah, it's cool. You know, it's, uh, you know, not going to lie there. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it comes down to me wanting to win, you know. And, you know, last year that, you know, was a great year, you know, personally. But it's not what I wanted, you know, at the end of it. You know, I want to win. And, you know, this is the place where I want to be that it's the best chance to win.